Hi, what I'd like to talk about today is hip surgery, pre-hop, the things you'll need, hospitalisation, post-op, what you should be doing. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're at the pre-hop stage. You've realised that you're walking around like a penguin and with a, with a shitload of pain in your hip and you're eating painkillers like popcorn, you realise that this is not quite a natural lifestyle and so you're going to go to the doctor and, and, and find out what's wrong. You, you, you kind of know what's wrong, right? So you need to go first to an orthopaedic doctor. He will check you out, um, he'll lay you down. It's, it's a little bit painful and there's a lot of discomfort because he's going to check you out your leg, check out your range of motion, uh, the things you're going to do, and then he'll send you for an x-ray to see what's wrong in there. My recommendation is you get an MRI as well. I had an MRI done and I paid for it myself. Um, if your insurance covers it, get it by insurance. Here in Finland, in Helsinki, it costs me about uh, 150 euros, which is, it is not steep and you get an absolutely better picture and the doctor gets an absolutely better idea of what's going on with your hip and, and what the cause is and everything else. We're on lockdown. It's like two nights out. Pay for it. J just get it. it it's, it's important, really, truthfully. The two things that you want to be doing also on your pre-hop is get yourself some of this. And it's called Tattoo Aftercare. You can see it. It's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a little bit like an air gel, but it's, it's antibacterial. Now you can get this from reputable tattoo parlors. Just go get it. You'll need this for post-op. This is an important thing. I am so glad I had this. Second, you need to go to your local health center and ask them about renting walking sticks. These things, you'll need to rent these. They don't cost anything to rent here in Finland, in your country or wherever you are, you might be different, but you'll need those. And you need to take them to the hospital with you. Do not forget them. They are one very big important part of, of this post hop, pre hop, sorry, idea. You can also buy, get a sock kind of thing. I don't have this. This is one thing that I was missing and you need it. If you're gonna put your own socks on it, it's a very clever piece of equipment. You put your, it goes inside your sock and there's some ropes on it. You put your foot in it and you can pull it up. You can't bend down and put your socks on. You can't tie your shoes. These are all the things that you need when you go <clears throat> to your hospital we'll get into that video next these are the things that you're going to be looking out for these are the things that you, if you're missing them you're going to have a hard time pre-hop afterwards you'll get sent to a hospital where a surgeon will check you out and he will ask you the most stupidest question on the planet how can i help you what do you think? I'm here just for a cup of coffee and a chat with you. Of course you need I need your help. You, you, you need to operate on me. They will give you a... They'll check you out again. They'll give you a time of a time limit on, on when they'll do, be able to do the operation. Now, this, this virus thing has caused a lot of problems. So it's usually two to three months of waiting time for the operation. Mine was last December. I had my operation this December just gone. So I had a whole year of waiting for this operation, which was absolutely horrific. So just be patient and, uh, and, and be careful with the things that you're doing. Make sure you've got painkillers because post pre-hop, you'll be eating a lot. Try to stay away from Borana, use Panadol or, or something else. Burana is, is a horrible, horrible painkiller. It reduces kidney function. I didn't know this until later when I was at the hospital and they said I'd got reduced kidney function by taking Burana. Don't use it. Try to use Panadol, anything else. Talk with your doctor about the things that you can take and, and be careful with this. We'll get now into the next bit, which is 
hospitalization. It'll be in the next video.